می شرایطی که در فرانسه وجود داره ایجاد نمیکنه ای که یا باید بگردن هر کار خاص دلشان باشه مثلا یک مرد که میتونه هر کار کنه نه در فرانسه مو من بر طبقه اوناس یعنی آزادی شخصا وجود نداره اما قص فقط میگه باید قسمی که میگه پیدا شده این هم قسم باشه مثلا میگه زن پیدا شده به خاطر ما ضرورت داریم برای باشه باید باشه داشتم بخاطر ازیم باشه ندارم رفت و دکتر دارم دکتر هستم چه اما در بیرون که میره کسرش نمیفهم من مثلا تو بازی میکنم در بیرون تشلا بازی میکنم کارای وشتو کنه یک اون کاری که در بیرون میشه سودا که میره میره همه دی به حساب بچه احساس میکنم بچه Our visit to Mohammed caused quite a lot of trouble. After the foreigners had left, he and his large family had to move to his brother's house to get away from the neighbors' questions. Mohammed doesn't want anyone to know why the journalist had come to film at a poor Kabul resident's house. همسرا به یک تیر روز خوشبین است یک تیر روز خراب بود میگه چی کار چی گپ است که بیادش از تو فلپوری میکنه او هم از خودم از بیگانه هم نیست به نیمی خاطر نسید هم بیادر توحین کردن دیجا پشت سر خانه زی هم آمدن بیچاره هیر هم جگر خونسا چرا بیادر شما ای تو میکنیم چرا فلپوری میکنیم این به نیمی شکل ما مردم جگر خون شدیم گفتیم بیادر ما تو هم گفتم نه Muhammad will never let on that behind his back his neighbors call him Mada Pasht, one who has only daughters. In traditional Afghan society, it's hard to find a more shameful nickname to give a man. Having seven daughters and no sons in a patriarchal society is quite a social stigma. Ten-year-old Amina was given no choice. Her father made her become a Bacha Posh. اقتصاد نیاز دارن یا کلشون بدار هر چیز بخوردن نیاز دارن و هر چیز نیاز دارن اما رسیدی کده نمیتونه که نمیتونه میان ای بیچاره و فروشی ها میکنن کار ها میکنن دیگه ها میکنن اما یک چیز یک تیک نان بداش بیاده تکیم کار میکنه میره بعض وقتا بده میره کار خانه را پیش میبره کار بیرون هم بدار یک چهر را پیدا میکنه دیگه مکتب خدا هم میخونه امروز شوهرت چیم چی شد چی مسئله شد؟ که میگم مشکلی چی داشت؟ آم مشکل روانی داشت؟ آم مشکل روانی داشت که امروز آم تریاک استفاده میکرد موتاد بود دیگه. بعدش آم که مرا اوردن خانه پدرم ایلاکت باردار بودم ایتفاق دیگه میسی چه کی رفت رفت دیگه تو همیم روز اصلا مسیر در کجا رو پیدا نکردست؟ Every Afghan woman must have a man beside her. If not a husband, a son will do. Abbas asked for a ball for his birthday. He'll soon turn nine. 
and football is his favorite game. از 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 تیمای جهان کدام تیم خوش داری؟ از فوتبالیست بچه بوسنا آره بارسلونا زیاد علاقه در دیم تاش پای تلویزیون میشه نکی وقت چیشه بسیار تاش Abbas is her name outside the home. Within the family, her name is Fazilia. Their mother dresses the younger sister as a boy too. Abbas and her grandfather are the only members of the family who can venture freely outside their backyard. This time, the mother has sent her daughter to the local hairdresser because the family's been invited to a neighbor's wedding. جان به سنت ما درس می دادم چون که ساعت در رسمی درس ما بود دیدم که چری بچه گانا بود تقریبا این بچه سیوم است که به مکتب ما آمدن تقریبا یک نادیه بود که اینا بچه گانا پوش بودن تیپشون بچه گانا پوش است میفهمم که تکنیک و تکتیک از زیاتر می آمد زیاتر علاقه دارن و این شاگرد ما گفتم که فامیل شما اجازه داریم که بیاین به تیم فوتبال گفتم که من برای فامیل صحبت کنم چون باز از فامیل صحبت کنه اجازه نامه آوردن باز از زو راج سر تیم می شدن <laughs> girls like Asia are called bad boys. She's a troubled teenager. In the girls' school in Kabul, both teachers and fellow students complain about her. 
She behaves like a boy and only has to cover her head like all the other girls when she's in class. Excuse me. Molly. Hello, Mr. Asia is a rare type of bacha posh. It was her own decision to dress like a boy. She has a brother, so the family isn't lacking an heir. Asia likes the freedom that boys' clothes give her, freedom that her female friends can't enjoy. Twenty-year-old Najla works as a secretary at a firm selling anti-cellulite products. Out of respect for her boss and colleagues, she covers her head in the office. But just after the daily call to prayer, she finishes her workday, changes into her usual clothes, which passers-by find shocking, and hurries to the other end of Kabul, to a place where everyone knows her as Coach Tofan. Afghanistan's only Taekwondo school for girls is covertly hidden away in a basement and doesn't ever advertise itself.
حالا خیلی بسیار زیاد سخت دارم و دومی که به خاطر که بتانم دفاع از خودم کده بتانم در مقابل مردم و کسایی که برام یعنی چیزی بگویم بتانم از خود دفاع کده بتانم در مقابلش مبارزه کده بتانم اول خو یک ورزشکار اخلاق ورزشی داره ما بر چیزای عادی نمیخوایم کسی را بزنیم یا اوگار کنیم از رخت استفاده کنیم دو من اگر مجبور شه مجبور هستیم دیگه از خود دفاع کنیم When the training session ends close to sunset, Tofan covers her head again and goes to night school. Girls dressing as boys is an Afghan tradition. It's concealed but not taboo. But when Bacha posh girls come of age, they go back to dressing as girls and their parents try to marry them off, usually to a relative. Tofan is a rare exception who refuses to start a family and have children. She wants freedom. And in Afghanistan, only the men have that. I feel very good We arranged to meet Najla at her home the next morning. But as we reached her doorstep, she called to say she didn't want to be filmed anymore. The foreigners visiting her workplace had alerted the firm's owner, from whom Najla keeps her second name and double life a secret. The brave Taekwondo fighter was afraid. Abbas only went to school for a year before the family ran out of money. Now the Bacha Posh can only attend a madrasa, a religious school. After school, there'll be a party. Abbas is turning nine. For her birthday, she receives the long-awaited ball. The neighbor's children, boys and girls, are all invited. Shiva, 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 Shiva,
Dressed in a boy's shalwa kameez, Amina goes to the city every day to sell water. Outside of her father's hearing, she confesses that she hates the job. It's hard to hide from passers-by that she's actually a girl. Two years ago, there was some hope for Amina's parents. Mohammed's wife gave birth to a boy. The family of modest means had only two months to celebrate the birth of an heir before tragically the baby died. Amina's mother can't have more children now, meaning that the girl will have to remain a boy for a few more years. <laughs> Asia and her friend visit Kabul's most western and fashionable shopping center to buy clothes. Passers-by might easily think they're brother and sister, maybe even a couple. Places where no one asks Asya if she's a boy or a girl are few and far between. Mm. <laughs> Asya is fully aware that she's defying the ultra-conservative Afghan social norms. She also knows that her protest would not have been possible without her parents' approval. Near the end of our visit, Asya invites us to her home. She promised to introduce us to her parents. Okay. 
نه یا با خطر از یوم دکه خانه بتوست. نه ما خوابستم از اول خوابال میگفتم اینجا کامو دی کات میگم اینجا نمیزدم گه. ما گفتم برات که خانه خودت اگه میبینی. ما خوابتم خانه خوب ما گفتم نه میشه با خطر چی گفتم اینجا را بگیرم مثلا خانه خودم میگیره سب سب و مادرم. مشکل داشتی از پدرم نیست ولی اتور رفته. مادرم وظیفه داره است نمی کنم میگفت نه میشه ما نمیتونم مسافر بدم. شخصا مزمن مادرم میجواب میکنه. Asia had tried to trick us. We later learned it was because of her parents. They refused point blank to be filmed and forbade her. But because she's a bachelor posh, she can decide for herself and choose her own destiny. <laughs> پس من با بچه میگه که تو تا که خدا چنچ نکنی مترا نمی نمی خوام و نمی گیرم ات چی میگی با؟ یه مدلت که من نمتر است میگیری بگی نمیگیری بر خدا یار وجود نداره شکر شکی گپ است گپ ناقص شکی کارچی